Hey guys, Jay here and just a quick update on just a quick video to update on my list start uh, how it's been going and you know TLDR let me just show you a brief summary of what has been going on so as you can see I already have two characters one is level 83 this one is my list start build which is planned to be a uh, inquisitor with a uh, Mjolnir uh, auto bomber style of uh, Tornado of Elemental Turbulence, which is the new Tornado skill, uh, which looks very cool, and I still really like the visual and the feel of the skill when it works. And the key factor here is when it worked. It was very, very nice to play with uh, in the campaign uh, from level 34. So when I reach level 34, which is the level I know where I can use the skill, I check for it on the market and it actually is just 1KS. So I buy it, I play with it for the rest of the campaign until maps and you know, I even got some big drop which then with some you know, buy and sells flipping for the whole evening and I will explain why I do that. Uh, basically I afforded a Mjolnir and actually got the build going. And this is the gear of my character minus the Mjolnir. The Mjolnir just got converted into a 200 chaos just recently because I sold it. Uh, the reason is the skill is just dog shit. That's it. Um, if you see here, let me actually show you real quick on uh, poe.ninja. I thought, I thought I've missed something and maybe it's just me being bad at, you know, scaling the, the skill and making a build around it. But, event, but eventually when I check out, uh, check out the, um, the, P, the, the uh, builds in PoE.Ninja here, I realize it's not me, it's just this freaking skill. And let me show you... Uh, uh, okay, so out of all the people who play this skill, as you can already see here, the maximum amount of DPS you can squeeze out of it is 1.1 million. And let me quickly show you the gear of these two people. For example, I would say this is not a good one. However, this is a very good uh, Wrath Pit Globe. Um, attribute stacking setup with uh, ivory tower wow. even with one more link right uh, this one is six linked already uh, this it's not even a five link I thought it was a five link but it's actually is a six link right no it's not so if this is six link let's say it will have 33% uh, more damage which is 1.4 million or something 1.4 1.5 million but you know basically that's it i would say the hardest you can scale for this skill with you with for this uh, skill with a lot a lot better gear than this this is already very good in a lot of uh, gear slot you can have better roll you can have better weapon here but basically i think the best thing you can do for this skill is to scale it to like two to three million maximum and that was that is with like gg tier of gear it is just horrendous. This one is using a cane of Kulamark. Uh, tornado with hypothermia, yeah. Um, we can add a fire. Yeah, this guy seems seems to be good as well. Instrument of virtue. Well, holy shit! He even have the fucking uh, forbidden jewels of the four instrument of virtue, which is the the, the uh, battle mage one. So he has a lot more damage from this weapon. So this is very fucking insane, by the way. And yeah, the skills still deal like 1.1 million damage. 1.1 million. Yeah, you heard it right. 1.1 million. I have tried to tinker with uh, the character with the POV of my own character, which, by the way, is not here because it was so dog shit. I deleted it immediately. Basically, the 
total DPS that I've got on the character, and uh, I will show you a little bit with the gear in the... It is, it's very cheap gear, it's basically helped me to turn on Righteous Fire for a more multiplier, I'm on low life for a more multiplier as well, I have 6 link, but I want to play a 1 button playstyle, so... Uh, yeah, this is a Cyclone cast while channeling with the cremation of Volcano. And because I use a Mjolnir, the Mjolnir will cast Tornado uh, Elemental Turbulence as well. So I will always, always have uh, 6 Volcano and 3 Tornadoes. Uh, so I call it a Druid build because the Druid or the Shaman uh, in uh, ARPG normally do Elemental skills with, you know, Volcano and Tornado. That's very thematically very cool, right? And actually, a few people who got into my stream in the last two days, you know, kind of liked the, the the feel of it. And so they asked me for POE, but I'm kind of embarrassed, emb embarrassed on how the POV looks. Uh, the total DPS total, by the way, so six cremation of volcano, which is up all the time because as I cyclone, I summon like three every second. So the duration is 2.5 seconds here, so always, I always have six uh, of the tornadoes uh, going and, you know, just splitting projectiles around. I will also always have tornado of elemental turbulence, uh, three of them. Because I'm an Inquisitor, I have a decent crit chance, right? Not 100% crit chance on the attack, but decent, like 70% or something. So I decided to go for a Cosprey Malice instead of a Mjolnir eventually, because the Cosprey Malice allow you to have more damage, basically, uh, than a Mjolnir can do. But still, the total DPS for these two skill are like 500k. That is everything. And just by turning on the Righteous Fire from the build, it was a 3 link Righteous Fire, which is linked to Swift Affliction and Elemental Focus, which are not even the best links you can have on a Righteous Fire. And on the character, the Inquisitor, that actually doesn't take passive to directly support Righteous Fire. It just have random passive that basically support all elemental damage and hit base and crit. And the Righteous Fire itself deals more damage than these two skills combined. By a little bit, but, you know, it's one skill, three links, it's better than a basically two skills. Uh, this is one is on a six link, but Castle War Channeling, so technically it's like a four. Uh, this one is like also on a, a trigger weapon here, so three links. But still, yeah, my point is, three link Righteous Fire on a non-optimized character for Righteous Fire still is more DPS than these two skills. So that's just to show you how bad they actually are. The reason I chose them is just, again, for the matter that I want to make a build, a character that, you know, first of all is one button, or maybe zero button eventually, but uh, the current setup is for one button, and uh, I want it to thematically feels like playing a shaman build or a druid build. Yeah. This character has a hundred percent suppression, around 3.6k life, uh, quite a lot of evasion and decent armor, have entering cry on automation, uh, have uh, maximum resistances, uh, the chaos resistance is right around uh, 30%, so I need to work more there, but Basically, it dies to anything. When I started mapping, uh, I took the keystone. Uh, let me show you here. I took this keystone. Right? Oh, no, fuck. No, no, no. Not Kirat's Vault. I took this keystone so I don't need to read the leak mechanic in front of all of each map. Right? So I took this. And then I go directly up here for 20 extra points, and so I can spec into something that I like, which is Incursion. I have Kirak as well. Not optimal strategy, but uh, the problem is it dies to everything. The League mechanic is heavily, heavily fucking overtuned in terms of dif difficulty. I mean, on the reward side of thing, uh, the only way that you can get something out of it from my perspective, is either to farm corpses at a very high tier map, or 
you can need to be getting lucky with the modifiers. For example, someone have a uh, <coughs> a chance to drop divine orb on a uh, pack of monster leak mechanic, then they will have some reward. But beside that, well, everything else is dog shit. I have had a exalted mod, uh, exalted orb drop once, and I clear the whole map. I have zero exalted orb, so. Even that is not even guaranteed. It's just 2% extra chance to drop an Exalted Orb. It doesn't guarantee to happen. So sometimes, let's say, if that is a fucking divine uh, buff from the League mechanic, and imagine you have that, you are so excited to clear everything on the map, you have zero divine draw. How would that make you feel? Right? Just to lay that out there. So, yeah. Right now, so far, I... To be honest, I'm not enjoying the leak mechanic, but I think that is just a balancing issue. Normally, GG do fix the balance stuff in a few days from the leak start. They have the tendency to actually listen to feedback and try to tune it, you know, more to be to be better. Basically, uh, we have had this happen before, but yeah. So, <coughs> what is coming next? Uh, I'm leveling a new character now. It is a currently a chieftain, level 50. I will plan to play as a chieftain for a while. Or probably something uh, that is righteous fire or uh, eventually cast and stun. So, if you have watched uh, a certain video in my in my channel, you probably have guessed that I am trying to remake a character called the Lazy Chief. Uh, the Lazy Juggernaut, which is the Caswin Stunned Detonate Dead Chain Reaction build. Um, but I will make it as a Chieftain first, because Chieftain is much easier for low gear mapping, basically. So I will try to use it to farm, and then once I can afford enough gear, I can switch to the Lazy Juggernaut, the AFK Juggernaut. And uh, yeah, I can just uh, go ahead and farm some Lacrim. Basically, uh, I would try to push, try to play Simulacrum as a chieftain. I think it will work because I have seen people done it, and it worked before. But uh, at least with the changes to the flask this league, I think the Juggernaut would just be even more superior than before. Because with the Juggernaut now, if you use triple elemental flask, right? You basically, if you have a mage blood as well, you basically have like nine to ten percent maximum resistance just from the flask being up all the time with the mage blood, and then with five percent maximum rest from the brass dome chest, you will basically already have ninety percent maximum resistances without taking any maximum resistances from any other sources whatsoever. So, yeah, that is very crazy in terms of having 90% maximum rest. You don't need the Forbidden Jewels anymore. You don't need to take a lot of maximum resistance passive on the skill tree. So you save a lot of points that you can dump into more damage or more health pool, basically. So that is very, very nice, right? So I think that will be possible maybe maybe i can make a cheaper version with this comb spining heavy belt because it technically is very decent uh, defenses against physical damage uh 25 percent of uh, physical damage is converted to fire uh, it doesn't work like additively with something like the cloak of flame mm, so basically if the enemy deal 100 damage let's say then he would deal uh, 25 fire and 75 uh, physical, and then that 75 physical will then be converted. 40% of that is then converted to uh, physical. I mean to fire, which is around 30 damage. So the total damage that got converted to fire with this item, with this two item, from 100 damage, is roughly 55% which is 55 damage, not additively, which is going to be 65, which is better, but still, this is a very good item, very cheap as well, one chaos, uh, 
extremely extremely strong item for defense uh, the reason why I decided to make this such early I have continuously talked about make remaking the uh, AFK chief uh, AFK juggernaut um, whenever anyone asks and a lot of people actually ask uh, I would I would say that I would need to farm a mage blood first before I actually remake the character but what change is the league mechanic is so damn rippy it kind of forced me to try to go tanky again and you know the best kind of tanky I have ever played and ever built is the AFK Juggernaut so yeah that is what I'm trying to go with and I really want to stream today as well but there's well there was a incident happened yesterday uh, on stream actually uh, it happened that I have to turn off the stream immediately uh, so basically my landlord which is my father uh, he tried to fix the water system you know something on the on top of my room basically so directly above me uh, there is the tank the for water basically he is fixing it or changing it uh, to another tank and so he have to dump all the water from the old tank the you know basically outside and he for some miracle decided to just dump it on top of my fucking room which is an old house which basically leaked the water all over the room so everything behind me that you normally see is completely completely covered with water the leak is horrible it is one giant crack across the, the, the ceiling of my room and it leaked water everywhere so it feels like it is raining inside the house basically and that happened for like roughly an hour without any way to fix it because basically I just need to wait for the water to run out because there is no place for it to go and so yeah uh, it kind of affect the internet connection because I have to remove it and redo it and there's some problem here and currently it is not as stable as it, as it normally is so I will ask for the internet provider to come and try to see and try to fix it so maybe I will be able to stream tomorrow or if I'm lucky sometimes um, later today but you know today I don't think I can stream if everything is going according to what I plan it to be right uh, so I will be leveling continue with leveling this character maybe do some early maps with this uh, today and see how far more we I can go with this one and then maybe give you guys a little update uh, by the end of the day or you know just go on stream tomorrow and yeah so see you in the next video on, on my stream uh, or I will leave the twitch link in the description uh, come join me and yeah that's everything I want to talk about today basically the league start build was horrible but I have some lucky drop so the currency is not too bad it's not you know amazing but it's not too bad so I have a little bit to work with and then the leak is currently horrible 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 in terms of experiencing the leak mechanic right the crafting have a lot of potential I have tried it I have made decent item with it I have sold them but uh, yeah if you don't reach the end game if you don't reach the high tier red map you will not have good courses to even abuse that other than that the just the modifiers on map and on campaign zones is just horrible I hate it I hate it they need to rebalance it uh, they need to rebalance it and also by the way one one more thing when we do crafting there are I think it's like they did not optimize the UI very well right there's a lot of clicks to be done there's a lot of things to scroll through there's a lot of information to filter and that is I think that basically just will drive 
every single new player that are not very exposed to crafting before away from using the crafting for the league mechanic which is a very strong one by the way so yeah uh so far there's that and see you in the next video or in the stream peace